Hey girls, so it's time for a TTC update. As you can see, I'm not in my office. I got my tripod, so um, hopefully the sound quality is okay with this. Um, if it's not, let me know and I can do some editing with the sound to try to make it a little bit better. Um, so today I am 8DPO and I will insert a copy of my chart here so you can take a look at it. Um, but what I have noticed, and I don't have my chart in front of me because I'm not at my computer, but um, my temperatures have gone up quite a bit and they seem to be staying up. Um, they're higher than they've been in the past like five months. They seem to look a lot similar I don't know if I'm saying this right, to the chart when I did conceive my son. So I will insert a copy of that here, um, and you'll see when you look at this, um, you'll see two lines, and the one that goes all the way across, that's the one when I conceived my son, and then the other one is this cycle, um, and it's a lot shorter just because I think I went out to like 60 days or something um, with that one, the one when I was pregnant because obviously your cycle is really, really long. Um, and then I stopped charting, you know, at, at whatever point I ended. Okay, so I have some tests here and I have to say I'm a little excited, but before I show you anything, um, I I do want to remind you, I'm only 8 DPO, and um, I said I was going to test Sunday 8, 10, and 12. So um, that's, you know, what I planned this whole time. And then obviously, like, if I don't have a positive or a new cycle at 12, then probably 14. Um, yeah, so that being said, if I get a positive, I am... Probably not going to update you guys for a little while. I keep getting distracted. That See, this is maybe why being at my computer is good, because there's too much to look at. If you look outside, I don't know if you can see what I see. We have to pull the blinds up, because my son always tries to pull the blinds off. But it's snowing. Yeah, so I keep looking at the snow. But it was... um. I, just, I can't believe there's snow because it was 55 degrees yesterday and it's snowing today. So, gotta love Ohio. Um, okay, so what was I saying? Um, okay, so if I get a positive, probably won't update you guys for a little while. Because um, we want to tell our family first and sometimes they watch these and I don't want them to find out on YouTube. I would rather us tell them. So, first I'll show you the pregnancy test. You know how you keep staring at it because you want to see a line, you think you can imagine one, but it doesn't happen. There's a line, but this is the first response, and um, it's just so early. It doesn't really have color, so I'm guessing it's eval. Okay, so I said I was going to take the OPKs, and then I said I wasn't going to take the OPKs. Well, I decided I was going to start taking them at cycle, or um, six days past ovulation. I don't know how the color... Okay, so you see one line. That was yesterday. And today... Two lines. Similar in color. That's why I'm excited. <laughs> and then I took one with the other brand. Two lines as well. So I went from him not having a second line to having a second line. And pretty a pretty dark second line. So I'm getting a little excited that that might mean something. Um, okay, so if it, I don't know, 
I don't know. I don't want to get my hopes up too much, but I am, I'm not going to lie, because I am getting a little bit excited about it. Um, but let me just say that I have already told you guys how my husband and I feel about um, when another child is going to be a part of our family. And we really believe that God will give us a child when the time is right. So, we don't get upset, really, if we don't get pregnant. Um, we just have a lot of faith that it's going to happen when it's supposed to. So, you know, if this is nothing and this is just a fluke with the OBKs, um, it's going to be fine. I'm going to be fine. But, like I said, I'm not going to lie, because I am excited. I have the second line already on the OBK, and... Um, my temperatures are higher than they've been, so I hope it's good. I hope it's a good thing. Um, yeah, that's my update. Um, I will update again on day 10, unless I have a positive and you'll hear from me. You can personal message me if you want, um, and I will let you know, but I don't want to post a video. Um, as far as symptoms go, I've been really tired. Um, I've been, like when my husband, he works the night shift and so do I, but on my days off, I'm up with my son all day. When my husband gets up, I've been taking a nap. Um, but like yesterday, I was up at 5 a.m., so I was tired. I'm chasing around a 14-month-old all day. And my son is crazy. <laughs> he, uh... Yesterday, he had an obsession with pulling up the register vents, and after he went to bed, I, I'd been watching him all day. I did take that nap, though. Um, after he went to bed, I decided I better look in all these vents. Yeah, there was Tupperware in the one in our kitchen, in the register. So I got to fish all of that out, but that's why I'm tired, probably. Um... I have been waking up every three hours to go to the bathroom, so that's kind of annoying, and it also doesn't give me very high concentration for the test, so, um, oh yeah, and one thing different this month, which is great, is, um, I don't have any nausea. <laughs> the past, like, three cycles, I have just been so nauseous in my little face, like, I just feel like I want to throw up all the time, and... Nothing sounds good to eat, and um, but this cycle, I have not had any nausea. I have actually had um, quite a large appetite. So, yeah, I don't know what it means, but I'm happy that I don't feel nauseous this month. So, I think that's all. Make sure that you um, look at my chart, which has probably already happened in this video, but um, yeah. I'm a little excited. I keep looking at my second line here. <laughs> um, and I did, if you guys are wondering about the OPKs as home pregnancy test, I did post that in one of my TTC updates. And that mostly that whole update is about that. So um, if you're wondering how to use them as HBTs, um, check that out. Because it I know it kind of is weird if you don't know that you can use them for that. I think that's all. So baby dust all you girls. And I look forward to seeing your updates because um, I haven't seen too many lately. So, um, yeah. Baby dust. Bye, girls.